Hey guys, CJ here, and today we're going to be talking about the disaster artist. This film is a mixture of Ed Wood, the producers, and of course, The Room. The Disaster Artist is a biopic directed by James Franco and starring James Franco and Dave Franco. This film chronicles the relationship between Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau, some of the people behind the greatest to worst movie of all time. And if you don't know what that film is, it's called The Room, and you should go see it. Dave Franco portrays Greg Sestero. Uh, he's this struggling actor in the late 90s in San Francisco. He really wants to be big in Hollywood, but he's just kind of taking his first steps in the acting world and then in an acting class he runs into this very mysterious and uh, very enthusiastic but strange guy named Tommy Wiseau. And eventually they become friends uh, and their friendship and their ambitions take them to Los Angeles so they can try to make it in the movie business. But things don't really work out for them so they say screw the Hollywood system we're gonna make our own movie we're gonna do it our way that way we are in control of everything and so the room is born. I gotta be honest I really like films that chronicle the filmmaking process no matter how bad the product is. And this was no exception. This is definitely a really fun time in theaters, especially for fans of The Room. The Room was supposed to be serious, but it really didn't turn out that way. If you watch it, you can definitely tell why. It mostly has to do with Tommy Wiseau, the main uh, director, writer, and actor of The Room. He just has this very strange, almost like ageless man who is totally from Eastern Europe, but he just denies it. No one knows how he's able to fund everything. No one knows where he gets all of his money from. No one knows how old he is. No one knows really, like, w what his age is. And that's not even really important because this guy is just so unique and interesting that James Franco had to make a movie about him. There aren't many films that warrant another film to be made about its creation process, but this is definitely one of them. It's a cult film just like Rocky Horror Picture Show, except this is much different. What's great about this film is that you don't need to see The Room to enjoy this film. Although you probably need to see The Room because you'll enjoy this film even more if you do. This film is really just about the filmmaking process as well as the way in which an unlikely relationship can come to effect and create this, this work of art uh, that depending upon who you are, is either the best or worst film of all time. And when people can look at a work of art and say it's either the best or worst thing they've ever seen, you know you're onto something. James Franco was all in on his role of Tommy Wiseau. I mean, he's honestly the shining point of this movie because, you know, he is essentially what this film really circles around. And Dave Franco, he kind of plays himself, but I guess that's the point. Another great thing that this film does, it has a great featured cast that I had no idea was in the film. Like, I knew Seth Rogen uh, makes an appearance in the film as one of the crew members, but like some of the people that they get to be a part of the cast and crew, it's just, it's just really funny. I have to give props to the people that created this film because they must have created the entire feature length uh, running time of The Room. Like, they shot The Room exactly shot for shot, you know, beat for beat. And then they decided, all right, now we're going to shoot uh, the parts about us making it. Like the recreated scenes in this film uh, can be put up right next to the old ones and they look exactly the same. If you love the filmmaking process, you're going to love this movie. If you love The Room, you're going to love this movie. And if you think that The Room is the worst movie of all time, you're probably still going to enjoy this film. The Disaster Artist is a very funny and entertaining film um, and it does justice to the source material that it's based on as well as the legacy of The Room. So I would definitely say go see The Disaster Artist in theaters. And if you haven't seen in the room, I would definitely suggest you find that film and watch it. Uh, it's just, you gotta watch that. Well, that's all I got today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe right here if you want to see more, and I'll see you on the next one.